Good day. Today we will do the titration between sodium hydroxide and acetic acid. In this experiment, I put the sodium hydroxide in the burette. This sodium hydroxide has a concentration of 0.6 molar. And now, I measured 20 ml of acetic acid with unknown concentration. I will put it in the flask. And put three, three drops of phenolphthalein. Initial reading of our sodium hydroxide is zero. So let's start the experiment. Now we can see it changes color. Our final reading is 28.90. The final reading is 28.90 mm. For trial 2, the initial reading of NaOH is 10 ml. And I have here the 20 ml acetic acid. I will put 3 drops of phenolphthalein in the acetic acid. And let's start the experiment. We will turn on the stirrer and drop the NaOH until it changes color. Now it changes color. The final reading of the burette is 39 ml. Let's see the data from our experiment. For trial 1, NaOH has a concentration of 0.6 molar and the volume for the initial reading 0, final reading 28.9 ml, the volume is 28.9 ml. The concentration of acetic acid we don't know and the volume is 20 ml. So to get the molarity, we will first get the mole of NaOH. So we will multiply the volume by the molarity of NaOH. We have 0 0.01734 mole of NaOH. Next is, we will get the mole of acetic acid. So from our solution, we have 0 0.01734 mole of acetic acid. And the molarity, we will divide number of mole divided by the volume. So we have 0.867 molar. For trial 2, we will do the same uh, computation. So the NaOH has a value of 29 ml. Same value for same value of the volume for acetic acid. So again, we will take the mole of NaOH. Then how many moles of acetic acid and get the concentration. So this time, it is 0 0.0174 mole divided by 0 0.02 liter. That is 0 0.87 molar concentration of acetic acid. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy our video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, like, comment, and share.